By the powers of YouTube and social technology in 2014, nearly 2015, I bring you one minute of my day. Some bananas which were just hanging around. Just went to the supermarket and got some pre-packed, washed in God knows what. There you go, it's fine man, nothing wrong with that. Seasonal baby leaf salad. Just gonna whack it in with the bananas. We've just put, I don't know how much coconut sugar in there. Just kind of guessed them up. So there we go. There's my greens for today. Some greens, some coconut sugar, some bananas. What can I say? And a job walking around the supermarket with all these undercar bozos, man. Yeah, it's just kind of crazy, just crazy, just kind of, it's like dodging cars, because some of these people are so big, you've got to be careful, like if you bump into these people, you could do yourself a lot of damage, elbow to the, elbow to the kidneys or something, walking stick to the shins, because these people, they're like, take you down, man, if you're like trying to get to the fresh fruits and veggies, or to the beans, to the rice, to the pasta, and you get in their way whilst they're after their sausages. And I take you out. <laughs> Walking stick straight to the shins. I've had it, man. I've had people block off mo with their mobility scooters, block off aisles so their other friends can like get all the fresh steaks and minced meat and things. These people will go to no end to get their protein. The protein. And then you're queuing up. You're queuing up, waiting and waiting and waiting because people are just flaffing around trying to find change or trying to find their debit card or... Oh, I want some chewing gum. Can you get some chewing gum? Uh, yeah. Well, what's going on? My head is full of full of what? Uh, you know, like that that little baton that says "Next customer, please." You know, I just feel like grabbing hold of that sometimes and saying to people, like, you know, you see this? I want you to stand over there. Get out of my way. Get away from me. Stop breathing the meat breath over me. In all seriousness, no, a supermarket is a nightmare, isn't it? People are getting so, they're so caught up in, like, what to buy. The aisles are full of processed crap, basically. You know, you've got your fruits and veggies you walk into, you know, your bread and bits and pieces, and then you've got the meat and the fish, and then the Coca-Cola, the Colky Colies, and the crisps and the chocolate, and then all the other sort of, like, crap that you don't really need. And then those usually over in the corner somewhere, you've got, like, the pastas and the rices and the sauces, the beans... And in the frozen food section, again, it's full of crap, full of ice lollies, full of dairy, full of meat again. The only good thing in the frozen frozen uh, aisle is frozen veg. Nothing wrong with frozen veg. And frozen fruit, which you've got to look hard for. Frozen fruit. You might have blueberries or cherries or something, depending on what's in season, or summer fruits. Usually a few tubs of that. I usually keep a few tubs in stock to put with my banana smoothies and things. So navigate navigation around a supermarket. Pretty pretty easy if you know what you want. If you know the items you want, it might be six or seven items versus a trolley full of crap which you don't know what's going on. Or I better have some meat, I better have some coki coli, I better have some full fat coki coli and some diet coki coli. I'll have some bread full of additives and all this shit. Or I better have some fish because I need some protein. Hang on a minute, let's go down the meat aisle and get extra minced beef because we need that protein. Look at all the stuff, look at the shelves, look at what people buy, look at the trolleys, what people buy. It's uh, full of all what I've just mentioned. You go to the fruits and veggies, pretty much always there. Apples are always uh, in good supply for myself. Usually got a good choice. Pastas and rices and things, go down there. Nice bit of tilde rice, I like my tilde basmati rice. Always fully stocked up. Pasta sauces are dead cheap as well, for a pound. Get a nice uh, glass jar full of uh, goodness. What's the old oils? Navigating the supermarket. So yeah, went to the checkout, had my three items. It said bas baskets only, but I didn't really want to put three items in a basket. But had I had it in a basket, I could have used, you know, but the lady looked at me and said, oh, can you go around to, like, you know, the one where they sell all the fags and all that shit and your uh, national lottery rip-off tickets. So I was waiting, waiting, waiting. Just my luck, I was caught behind some lady who... She obviously looks like she does lottery tickets all the time, so she probably spends like £200 a week, but wins like 50 quid if you see what I mean. I won, I won. Uh, no, you haven't. 
can see. So they had to process all of her tickets. So I was waiting, waiting, waiting. No problem though. I was just chilled out standing there. It was actually quite entertaining, you know. It's quite amusing watching these people. And, uh, yeah. Gave me a grin. I was just standing there. Then we had some other lady sat, um, stood next to me. Um, actually, I was going to say sat, but I think after about another few minutes, she probably would have sat down because her legs were going to give out. She was there puffing on a, an e-cigarette. Excellent man, and all these people are wearing like these cheap fleece jackets and stuff. They just look like third-rate citizens. You know, that's what you've become. You were a little girl walking around, running around in the playground, all lively and bubbly and stuff. You know, ten, well, a bit more than that, 20, 30, 40 years later, that's what you've become because you haven't fucking looked after yourself. You kind of gone with the the program society, uh, mind thought or whatever. This is what you should eat, this is what you should do when you get to a certain age, this is what you can't do anymore. Oh no, you know, what will people think of me if I do this, if I do that? Fuck this, fuck that, do what you want to do in life. Don't turn after these people. These people are, they're going downhill, they're going downhill fast and probably next year they won't be around anymore. They'll just be another person who, uh, oh, so-and-so has died, have they? Okay, that's sad. You know, someone's mum is someone's gran or whatever, but... Come on, man. Things have got to start changing. These people don't need to be uh, like they do, like or what, living like they are. Rather, it's just uh, it's just pathetic, isn't it? It's pathetic, and it's it's sad as well. You know, I'm not having a go at anybody, but just visually looking at around the state of people, you got people hobbling around. There's people in their twenties and thirties and forties. They're like hobbling around, man. Hobbling around. It's just a joke, isn't it? It's just like they've given up on life. Maybe it's because they've given up on sugar and they've just given up on life. Carbohydrates, man. Carbohydrates. Get some good food in you. It's easy, man. It's so easy. Rather than fill yourself full of shit and then have a shit life. Again, this is just my opinion. This is my YouTube channel. I can feel free to say what I want on here. But you ain't going to start really um, getting around, getting the message out, um, talking nice and being all, all um, fairy fairy about it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, maybe in another video I'll talk, I'll talk about something else and, and come across as whatever. But I'm just a bit of a rant. I'm making this smoothie. That's just my observations this morning in the supermarket. The society needs a big slap around the face with a wet banana. They need picking up. They need picking up. It's not going to happen quickly, is it? The thing's going to change in my lifetime? No, they ain't. That's how realistic I am. But it's all about planting seeds, getting people on board. Um, the people that want to have a give it a go and come on board, fine. The people that keep talking bullshit on Facebook, the people that are talking bullshit behind my back, because a lot of people do, just like everybody else that does YouTube and social media, or just in life in general, people are fucking wankers, aren't they? They talk about you behind your back. Who cares? More power to me. I'm just me doing my thing, sharing my experience. Whether on here, whether when I go outside on my bike later on, or for a run or whatever, I'm doing my thing. It's something new, is something different, or whether it's some, it isn't something new and it isn't something different because we're so off track. This is something that we have done a long time ago and things have just kind of changed for the worse now. And if people can't see um, that as, as, as a common sense kind of thought as, as, as what you're eating and what you're doing, then that literally is a non-starter with some people, isn't it? You're getting fat. Why are you getting fat? You know, you've got this issue, you've got that issue. Why is that? Oh look, it um, just happens like, you know, no it doesn't happen, it doesn't come in from here, it doesn't come out there from into here, it's inside, it's inside here, and then you get these symptoms and things, pretty much the nuts and bolts of how most of it does kind of work, okay?